Hey, it's Julie Kalen, your voice of happiness. And today I wanted to record a video on how the way you view luck influences your happiness. And if you are viewing this video when it first, when I'm first releasing it, when it first comes out, this is the week of St. Patrick's Day and which is a holiday often associated with luck. So I thought this is the perfect time to release a video like this. And also, if you could take a look at my shirt, um, the leprechauns made me do it as well. So I totally had no choice. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video on how the way you view luck influences your happiness. And so those people who view luck as an external force, basically you might have, it's an um, impersonal force. And depending on which way the wind blows or the dice rolls, you could have bad luck one day and good luck the next day. Not surprisingly, people who view luck as a random haphazard external force like that are not as happy because they they have the attitude of, you know, why bother? What I do doesn't mu much matter. It just all depends on luck and I don't have much control over what happens or the way my life turns out. And so not surprisingly, when you view luck like that, you're not going to be as happy. You're not going to be as motivated and you're not going to be as confident in your life. And you kind of have this um, very nihilistic attitude of, you know, why bother, you know, kind of who cares, you know, luck or, or fate determines my life. Um, but in contrast, people who view luck as a personal attribute or a character trait that one has, and not just chance or an outer force, view themselves as personally being lucky. And people like that who say, oh yeah, I'm lucky, and that's something I have, that's a personal character trait I have, um, are much happier than people who either don't believe in luck at all, or those people who view luck as that external random force. And you know, when they view luck as a personal attribute, they have like, yeah, I'm lucky. Um, lucky in that way is often synonymous with um, being fortunate or gratitude or blessed. And of course, people who have that outlook in their life are oftentimes much happier. And there have been various different studies on happiness and luck too, which are super interesting. I wanted to share some with you. Um, one book which was written by Dr. Richard Wiseman. He's a psychology professor in the UK. He wrote a book called The Luck Factor. And in his book, he said that he um, found out with studies that luck is a skill that can be learned and that allows us to um, make the most out of the cards that we have been dealt with in life. And he found out that happy people have various characteristics and skills which they have developed, which I'll share with you right now. And he found that, most importantly, um, luck is a skill that can be learned. So when we learn um, that lucky skills, um, we could be happier. So let me share those skills that you could have to view yourself as more lucky and therefore happier. Um, so what Dr. Wiseman found is that lucky people maximize chance opportunities. So what does that mean? Well, he found out through his research that um, people who view themselves as lucky are able to spot opportunities that other people might miss. Um, and they're more flexible. They go with the flow more. They're open to new experiences. And they tend to think outside the box more. So basically, um, you know, they have that flexibility and that ability to go with the flow and to spot opportunities that people who um, are view themselves as more unlucky cannot spot those opportunities as much, which is super interesting, I think. Um, other characteristic that lucky people tend to have is that they listen to their intuition. They are more in touch with their gut and in the present moment. They tend to meditate more and um, because they're listening to their intuition, they tend to take greater risks in their lives, which lead well, which leads to greater rewards. And so they're not afraid to take more chances. They're more confident. And it's basically when they listen to their intuition, it's basically they feel lucky. They seriously feel it in their heart and in their soul. And when you feel lucky, you're more inclined to take those chances and be confident. And when they spot those opportunities, 
they're more likely to, you know, jump on them and, and take the chance because, hey, I'm feeling lucky. You know, I can't fail. So that's another characteristic that Dr. Wiseman found um, was a skill that lucky people have that people who view themselves as unlucky don't have. Um, Dr. Wiseman off also found that lucky people expect good fortune. So not only do they feel lucky, but they think lucky. Um, they're optimistic people. Um, they shape their interactions with their environment and other people in a positive way. They tend to smile more, engage in more eye contact with people, um, and they tend to meet more people. Um, they view luck as something that you can control to a great extent because the energy that you put into the universe will come back at you. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos on law of attraction, you know this is a key component of the law of attraction. So lucky people are using the law of attraction for their benefit. And they believe, um, as is true with the law of attraction, that positive expectations lead to self-fulfilling prophecies. So think lucky. When you think lucky, um, your energy is also lucky. That energy you're putting into the universe is lucky. And so luck, um, not surprisingly, comes back at them. Um, Dr. Wiseman also, um, also found in his book, The Luck Factor, that Lucky people see good in the bad, so they maximize their luck. And what does this mean? Well, you know, as um, can happen in life um, sometimes, um, even if things do take a turn for the worse, lucky people tend to spot the good in a situation. Like take, for instance, um, a flat tire. Like if I was to get a flat tire or if someone... Uh, who views themselves as lucky gets a flat tire, they are going to um, think of that in a positive way. Whereas if someone gets a flat tire who views themselves as unlucky, they're just going to be like, oh, that's horrible luck. That's bad luck. Whereas a lucky person will tend to um, spot the good in that. Like I might say, um, if I'm feeling lucky that you know, thank goodness I didn't get a flat tire next week, you know, when I was going to take that big vacation or where I had that big business meeting that I had to get to. Um, or thank goodness, you know, I didn't get into a horrible accident when I got this flat tire. You know, I could see the luck in that situation that, oh my gosh, you know, uh, it could have been so much worse. And it's lucky that I got this flat tire and I knew what to do and, and was able to handle it okay. So, that's the difference between, you know, lucky thinking, um, lucky acting and lucky feeling versus people who view themselves as unlucky or who view that luck as that random haphazard external force, which could spring its um, good luck or bad luck on you at any random, any random moment. So, um, and a lot of you may have heard the term or the phrase, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And you could see in these um, characteristics that lucky people have, um, a lot of the preparation is basically like the mindset that you have, that optimistic mindset and that um, the optimistic thinking, that optimism and that confidence um, that when an opportunity does arise, that you could spot that opportunity and that you could have the um, confidence and fearlessness to to tackle that opportunity. So, um, and when you say preparation too, um, Dr. Wiseman found too that when you prepare too much sometimes, you know, like if you're, you could give you tunnel vision in lots of ways. So that's why that flexibility is important too. You know, yes, you could have a plan in your life, but um, be able to, to spot the luckiness and the opportunities all around you. And, um, you know, for me, I tend to be a happy-go-lucky person, personally. And um, what does happy-go-lucky mean, anyway? Um, well, a happy-go-lucky person, some of the dictionary definitions it gave, is someone who is cheerfully unconcerned about the future. And it's not that I don't care about the future. You know, in contrast, I care about the future very much. But it's just that I'm um, so optimistic and feeling lucky lots of times. I just know that I really don't have to worry much about the future because I'm lucky 
and optimistic and um, things generally um, go my way because I'm feeling lucky and thinking lucky. Um, and it it's basically a happy-go-lucky is um, not planning too much and accepting what happens without becoming worried. It's, it's more of a carefree, optimistic, um, cheerful, relaxed in many ways um, vibe. And um, if you do that and, and cheerfully trusting to luck and happily worried and unconcerned, you can, you too could live a charmed, lucky life. So think about these lucky skills, um, take some time to practice them and learn them if you are not great right now, great at them right now, or if you if you're one of the people right now who ha- is viewing yourself as unlucky or who views um fate or um, either good luck or bad luck or this external force as having a big influence in your life, I would definitely encourage you to challenge those beliefs of yours and practice these skills that um, Dr. Wiseman um, wrote about in his book. You know, you can always pick up a copy of the book, The Luck Factor as well, if you want to read more about happiness and luck and practice these skills more. And I'll also put a link to that in the description box of this video as well, in case you're interested in um, reading more about it and learning more about it yourself. And um, I will leave you as well with a leprechaun Irish blessing here. Um, May the leprechauns be near you to spread luck along your way. And may all the Irish angels smile upon you St. Patrick's Day. And not only just on St. Patrick's Day, but always. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you. Um, If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. And um, click that bell icon so that you will be um, notified when I release my future YouTube videos. And as always, I am wishing you much happiness, joy, and much good luck throughout your day and your life. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.